Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to Design Coffee Break. I am Lisa and I will be your coach today. The idea behind Design Coffee Break is that we show you how to use a poster my wall tool that you may not be familiar with in about the same amount of time it takes to enjoy a hot cup of coffee. Today's topic is how to create clickable PDFs and web pages. So as everybody's coming in, say hi in the chat, let us know where you're watching from, and also let us know what kind of business or organization you use Poster My Wall for. I'm here today in Atlanta, Georgia, where it is very sunny, and Audrey is in the San Francisco Bay Area, which she tells me is very gray today. Sorry about that, Audrey. So who out there struggles with trying to limit the amount of information in your design? I know that I do. I mean, there's so much information you want to share, right? Times, dates, addresses. Um, but if you add all of that stuff, your design is going to turn into a hot mess. So, you know, you have to, you have to filter. Um, or let's say you have a campaign that you want to link to something else. Like maybe you want them to be able to go from a design to a map to your venue or a link to buy tickets or even to you know see your menu or buy now order now any kind of action item so that's where today's tool create clickable pdfs and web pages comes in this tool empowers you to add links to your pdf and to designs that you publish as a web page so with just a few clicks, I'm going to show you how you can create highly functional marketing assets that move your customers forward towards a purchase. So a few quick reminders. One, stay till the end. We have some bonus content for you and a promo code. Two, please share this with anybody you think might be interested. Three, the video will stay here on Facebook, so you can come back whenever you need to. And four, if you have any questions as we're going, please leave them in the comments. Um, Audrey will be looking at the comments and we'll try to answer everything we can. And if you have a question that we either can't answer or don't get to, we'll be coming back you know, a couple hours after the class. So we will get to you today, promise. Audrey, uh, any shout outs in the comments? We do, we have, and I always apologize whenever I mispronounce the name, but we have Hornsen. He says, hi, Lisa, we have Dana from Trinidad Michael, who is a freelance web designer in Boston, and we actually still have a few more people coming in, so I think today's class will be quite interesting awesome. for everybody. Well, welcome everybody. That is terrific. So I just realized that I have lost my template, so let me reopen that. Give me a second here. All right. All right, let me pull this over. Sorry about that. All right. All right, so for our demo today, let's say I'm an artist and I want, and I'm having an art show and I want people to come. So I would select a template and we've already pre-selected this template so that uh, to speed up the demo and then you would customize it. I'm just gonna make a couple quick customizations to make this um, for me. So I'm just gonna add my name. And I got it this way. And say I'm going to change the photo. So right, I can just go to replace the photo, grab a photo of me painting, click replace photo. Um, still want it masked, so we go to shape, and it will stay circular. And I just have to move that window where I want it. Click mask, and make it a little larger. So in, you know, in less than a minute, I've customized this poster. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave the, the date and the place as is so that you guys don't have to watch all that. Uh, I'm also going to underline, put an underline where, um, oops, that's not what I want. I don't want it on new paintings. I want it on my name. I'm gonna underline this so that it's obvious to anybody who looks at the design that this is a link. So now all I need to do is if I click on my name where I want that to link, say, to my own website, I scroll down at the bottom of the edit menu and it just says add a web address. So if I were to go to my website and copy that URL, go back to the template, paste in that URL, and that's it. I have added a link. So you could link again to absolutely anything. You could link to the calendar. You could link to a map to the venue. You could link to the venue's website. Um, 
I'll show you what Gary will do with the Instagram icon. You can also link to your social media sites. And again, you click on it, scroll down to the end of the edit menu, and you know, I'll grab this, copy it, paste it, and that one is ready as well. And now I'm just going to save my design. All right, so now when you download these as a PDF, your links will be live. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do the download. So you go to, I'm gonna do standard image because um, we want it to be a P, P, you know, because I just need a standard image, but we wanna be able to output as a PDF. So that of course takes a little bit to process. While it's processing, I wanna remind you that you can add as many links as you like. So again, link to coupons, menus, maps, event bright or other ticket sites, your online store, your online ordering app, permission slips. Um, if you know, if you're school, you could have it. So there's a flyer for the parents and they click on the link and they can go to the permission slip or a contract or even a waiver. And once your download has processed, you can see it's downloading, it downloads automatically as a JPEG. You'll need to click to download options. And I'm gonna do letter PDF to fit. This, this one stretches it a little bit to fit the page. And I want it, the page to stay the same as it is. So then I just have to click download PDF file. And then my image is processing. Now to save you a couple seconds here, let me reshare it. I've already downloaded one. Let me share my other screen. That's weird, it's not sharing, hold on. All right, so this is what your this is what your PDF will look like. And then again, I'm gonna demonstrate that. Let me make this a little wider for you so you can see when the sites open up. That all, if I click on my name, oh, it's opening in the other window. So I'm gonna go back here. It indeed opened up my website. And I'm going to click now. I'll stay on this window where it's going to open, but I'm going to click again on the, the, the Instagram icon on the poster we made. And you can see it goes right to Instagram. So it's that easy. It is all set up. I'll close some windows. All right. So your second option here is to publish your design as a web page. And um, people will want to know why would you use a PDF versus a web page? Um, you know, a PDF, you can send it to people who are going to need to print it out. You know, you can send it as an attachment in an email, um, or transfer it on a drive, uh, transfer the folder. If you send it as the link, then somebody has to click the link to get to your design. But then once you're then they have your design open on their browser and then they can click from there. So just depending on your application, one may be better than the other. Um, and there's another advantage I'll show you in a minute about doing it as a web page. Uh, so anyway, show you how to do that. We will go to, let's see. I don't have the menu up there, right? You see the menu? Well, I need the publish menu. Here we go, publish. And you just select publish as web page, and it gives you a link. So if you copy that link, I'm going to go back here. I'm just going to paste that link in. Click return. And there's my poster. And again, it's live. You click on Instagram. It goes to Instagram. It's a completely, completely functional design. So I'm going to copy that link again, and I'm going to show you here one of I said I would show you this advantage, and um, let me show you my other window. What you can do that is really cool when you share the link. Okay, so I I hope you can see, but the video if you share if you share it as a published web page, you can actually see the video. And right now it's muted. I'm going to unmute it. It's going to be a little, oh, that's not what I wanted. Sorry, where did it go? Let me go back to Jen. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. 
All right, I've lost my window with Jen. I apologize. Maybe it's in one of these down here. All right, I think I sent you to infinity hell, so I apologize for that. But when you publish it as a web page, you can embed video, which will run, and also sound. And what I was trying to do was to unmute so I could get Jen playing, um, playing her music. But um, I'm sorry, I lost the design. Too many windows open. I'm sure you all can uh, can associate with having that problem. All right, and also, you know, if you save as a web page, you can also have it be a GIF. So again, if you want it to be active, um, that's all you have to do. You just copy that link and then wherever you paste it, they can uh, see it. And as well as sending it in an email, you can also post it directly to Facebook. I will show you what that looks like. If you click create post and add that link and you can see it's automatically added. It adds the graphic and the preview. So you Lisa, post. sorry about it. I think there was a, a um... oh, it wouldn't connect. Screen share issue? Yeah. OK, where, where do I need to back up to? Just can you show how do you do the posting to Facebook? Sure, I will do that. I'll do posting to Facebook. All right, let me. Uh... Hold on, let me grab the right screen. All right, here we go. Okay, hopefully everybody can see my screen now. So um, I've already copied that link from the other, from here. I copied the link to my design that has been published as a web page. Then I open up my Facebook page, click Create Post, paste in the link, click Post. And you can see that it is it is already posted and that if somebody clicks on it, it will again take them to your live poster, which again, it's opening on the other screen, there it goes. It will take you to your website. So it is that easy. So who out there is excited to create their own clickable links and web pages? So if you think you're going to use these tools, please put it in the comments how you plan to use them. Um, Audrey, do we have any questions? Uh, no questions just yet, but you know we did have someone say it would be a good, this option for our links. They said it's a great way to generate leads, and I'd have to agree just because now you have even more resources to um, get your content out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and we promised some bonus content. Audrey's going to put those the link to the bonus content tent into the chat, but I'm also going to show you what it looks like. So we've got a link to a tutorial that will, um, you know, it's a written tutorial step by step, if you prefer that to learn how to, you know, to go over the content today. We've got some templates for you and we have some links to some other recent classes that we think you might like. Again, the uh, link to that is in the comments. We also have a promo code today, click 30. And what that will do is if you are a, a new customer, you can get 30% off on a Post to My Wall premium or premium plus subscription. And if you're, or if you're upgrading from pay as you go to premium or premium to premium plus, you can, for the first time, then you can use that subscription too. So that's a great way to try out some of the video, the video capabilities. All right, so again, if you, oh, and Audrey is post pasting that into the comments. Again, if there's anybody you think would benefit from having links in their PDFs and designs published as web pages, please do share this with them. The video is going to live here on Facebook. Um, if you use this tool, use hashtag post my wall so we can see and find you. And um, also, if you like our live classes and you missed any, you, if you go to our the post to my wall YouTube channel and subscribe, um, you can go and you can see all the back classes or scroll through and find what you like. Our next live class is gonna be on February 9th. We'll have Melissa Libby here from Melissa Libby Associates, and she's gonna share case studies of successful social media promotions that drive diners to your bar or restaurant. 
Plus, we'll be sharing some cool new templates. So if you're looking for ideas to drive more traffic to your restaurant, bar, store, or other business, you should definitely drop in. That's February 9th at 1230 Eastern, right here on Facebook Live. Audrey, anything else? Oops, sorry about that glitch on my uh, screen. You know what? We have some people who are really excited to actually try this out. I think they didn't know this was available. So thank you for sharing okay. this, Lisa. All right, well, and that's why we do design coffee break because we're adding new features all the time and sometimes it's hard to get the word out and so we'll continue to to do these classes with features that we think are great that you may have overlooked. Um, anyway, so we hope we'll see you back for the next class on February 9th, the week from oh, two weeks from today and again, thank you from Audrey and myself and from everybody at poster my wall have a great day.